most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I can't. Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dry the and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorial. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button, and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and tutorials. Just to let you guys know that all the downloads that you'll be seeing is inside my description below, so go and check it out, and make sure you do disable your antivirus. So guys, with that all said, let's get straight into the video welcome back guys as you guys can see that the title says on how to install your CEO executive business inside your GTA V single player so that's what we're gonna do guys a lot of people have been saying that it does not work and it's glitching and these the see guys over here doesn't work and the maze bag doesn't work and need some help and people saying my open, open interiors crashes and other people say can't get into the building so yes guys there's a lot of people saying that the mod always crash or or glitching or whatever so I'm gonna fix that solution for you guys so you guys would know how to do it properly so all you guys gotta do before we do anything guys, disable your antivirus because it does delete your files. Once you guys disable your antivirus, then all you gotta do is download the mod. Once you download it, extract it or open up your extract folder. I already got it on my desktop so I don't need to do anything. But before you guys do anything, go to your open IV. Then now go to your Grand Theft Auto V Windows. Now just to let you guys know, okay, that every time I upload a tutorial every day, daily, I always start my folder with a clean folder. Go to your GTA V game, right click and open file location. As you guys can see, this is another clean folder so we're gonna be working on that but before we do work inside the folder go to your tools on your open iv go to asi manager make sure you install everything in here so click on asi loader open iv.asi and click yes and open camera now once you guys do that Push close and you and you don't really need to come in here guys okay just close it now the next thing we are going to do is go into your Grand Theft Auto V folder now what what we're gonna do here guys is that we're gonna go and install our mods first okay so let's get straight into it so all we're gonna do guys is install script hook V make sure you have the latest version open up your bin folder then select input h.dll and scriptography.dll and then now paste it into your gta v main directory if this pops up just push replace open up your scriptography.net again make sure it is the latest version and then copy scripthookv.net.asi.drl and .xml and drag it into your GTA V main directory now go and go to your trainer V make sure it is the latest trainer V Trainer, Trainer V just been recently updated, so make sure you got the latest one. Then now copy trainerv.asi and .ini and drag it into your GTA V main directory. And then that's it. Now lastly guys is map, is menu. Open up your menu extract folder. Click on menu stuff folder in menu.asi 
and drag that into your GTA V main directory. Once you guys finish that, that's all you gotta do now is right click and refresh. Then right click again and create a new folder. And then, then now name that folder scripts. Once you guys done that, open up your scripts folder on your GTA V game. And then now make sure you got the latest native UI. As you guys can see, I got two native UI.dll. See, I've got the latest version and I've got the old version. So now guys, we are going to install the uh, executive business. So all you guys gotta do now is double click and then now the only thing you gotta do guys, okay, is copy the whole thing, okay, and drag it into your script folder. Now, see? I said copy the whole thing. <laughs> Something happened there, I don't know. Okay there. Guys, inside my description, there is a map, reveal and open interiors. Download that guys and then copy all of it. Uh, then now paste it into your GTA V main directory and then that's all you guys got to do right click on your folder refresh and then quit out of there right click on your desktop and then now refresh and then now guys that's it and now I will see you guys in the game now guys we are back as you guys can see that I that my game did not crash and I am inside the, the game so before we do start guys let's check to see if the mods still work so press F4 to open up trainer V yes that does work and press F8 twice to open up menu and there you go now guys let's go and check the map and yes open interiors is in there and even the ceos now guys let's go and test this out so let's go to let's just say for an example let's go to this office first and now let's test it out to see if it works it should work okay because i tried it before without um recording Okay guys, all you gotta do, okay, before you do get into the building, okay, I'm gonna go and test it, okay? Now, this is what everybody is having problems with this mod, okay? Is that they get into the building straight away. And then now, they fall down the map, like that, see? Now, to fix that solution, I'll show you guys how to fix it. Now guys, as you guys can see that I did fall down the map okay and there was no there was no office in there to fix that solution guys okay is that you need your trainer V the reason why I put trainer V and Mino together okay in this tutorial because Mino is to teleport there and here and trainer V is to activate the mod so so guys to actually get into the building with officers okay to make this work is press F4 then now go to teleporting then go to other teleports it's at the end over here and then scroll right down the bottom in the middle over here guys and click on enable MP maps your game will freeze for only a second. Wait for a few seconds. Loading online and there you go. Now, the next thing you gotta do before you get into the building is go to office and warehouses. Click that guys and then this, hang on guys, I need to go and find out what office is this. 
this is oh yeah this is the first one over here so guys let's go over here guys click on there and now we're inside the building see guys now over here you can actually go go to sleep or whatever you can go in your office over here or whatever and you can actually do jobs too over here uh, you can open up your menu push in and now over here guys it will tell you to purchase option purchase uh, expand business money vault gun locker uh, so buy or sell um, sell products so yeah these are these are a few missions over here but I'm not gonna do it again because it's gonna be a long video if I do do it but it does work guys I already tried it and it does work and you can go outside over here if you want to but before we do go outside let's go and test out the garage all the garages guys has been modified and there is cars in there so let's go to the let's go to garage A and see guys I did not fall down the map and we got vehicles in here all these vehicles are from Fast and the Furious so yeah and there's some vehicles up, up top and the top floor but I'm not gonna go over there and then now there's vehicles in this garage and in this garage too guys I think there's only three garages yeah yeah three garages so yeah guys uh, there's vehicles in each garage now you can go outside guys okay once you go outside you don't really need to use your menu anymore to to teleport and you can just go straight in now see guys you can go straight inside the office now and you don't need to worry about anything you can go on a roof over here and you can do whatever on the roof and you can go back outside so let's test this to see if it works at the maze bank because a lot of people have been saying does it work at the maze bank so let's go and test it out guys and see if this mod does work at the maze bank sorry guys i'm just trying to jump in the rear now here it goes guys we are at the maze bank and now let's go and purchase it for now and now let oh wait no 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 sorry guys before you go into the maze bank i forgot you gotta do it again guys okay see you guys i'll show you okay if you do buy another way uh, another business you will fall down the map again okay so you gotta do the process again so yeah go outside guys okay and just only go outside guys and then i'll do that process again push f4 go to teleporting go to other teleports enable that well it's not well it's already enabled but go to offices and warehouses and then find maze bank and there you go guys maze bank tower and there you go we are inside the maze bank and all you gotta do is walk around the whole building okay uh yes guys and you can actually do jobs too over here like the other office and you can go on the roof and there's cars inside the garages but I'm not gonna go in there because they are the same cars and you can go outside now and get yeah, now go outside guys and now you can come back inside and now you don't have to worry about using your trainer V see guys so guys every time when you go to a new office you got to teleport inside the building first before you can go into the office okay so teleport in first, okay, walk around for a bit, get outside, go outside, and now you can and now you can come back in. But guys, there is a downhill about this mod, is that if you do like close down your game, you gotta repeat the process again and again. You gotta keep doing it, okay? And make sure guys, really important, make sure you enable the MP maps, okay? So that is that I reckon I'm gonna exit the game but if you guys are dropping FPS again if your FPS is dropping okay 
and if it's dropping really really bad okay i have found a solution for you guys go and quit the game okay and this is how you f uh, fix the solution of fps drops so guys once you quit the game right click on your gta v game and then open file location once you guys do that go to your script folder go to your executive uh, business folder and then now let's just say i want to keep the maze bank okay the maze bank is going to be my office well if the maze bank is going to be my office then i can delete the whole thing and yeah i can delete the whole thing except for the maze bank the office and the maze bank garage and the maze bank from west i know no no yeah maze bank down so guys um that's how you do it you delete the whole thing okay and then now your fps will be normal okay uh so yeah that's how you guys how you guys fix the solution on fps drops so guys i think that is it for the video if you guys need assistance if you guys need help then let me know okay remember guys to make sure you install the latest version of scripthook v scripthookv.net native ui and make sure you download um the map reveal and open interiors inside my description and install it into your gta v main directory just to let you guys know if you already got a mod folder then all you gotta do okay is install this, these three folders and make sure you've got the latest native ui script of v and script of v.net and even the latest trainer v is really important make sure you got the latest trainer v too but with that all said guys thank you for watching just to let you guys know that if you guys need any help or assistance or advice then let me know okay i will be more than welcome to help you guys to fix up your mods or whatever okay and don't forget guys to smash that like button if you like this video and subscribe for more daily gaming content and tutorials so with that i'll see you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video peace and i'm out thanks for watching